Well, I've been painting since I was 12 and selling paintings, so that's uh, 56 years. Uh, it's a long time to be painting, and uh, I like to paint quickly. Uh, there was a period during that 56 years when I wasn't painting much at all. I had a few career deviations, uh, and I think I've got a lot of time to make up for those, uh, those years that I was doing other things. So I feel this uh, sense of urgency about expressing myself, about getting the paintings out of me. Uh, so I am a bit possessed, uh, but as I say to my sons uh, and to my grandchildren, uh, if a thing's worth doing, it's worth being obsessed about. No, I don't think I, <laughs> I don't think I did really good work. Now let me rephrase that. I don't think my work was up to my standard uh, until probably about 20 years ago. Uh, I was messing around with a whole lot of different styles. Uh, one of my early teachers was William Robinson. Uh, and he once told me, after he judged a, a painting competition, uh, and I asked him what he thought of the work, which was a very brave thing to do for a student uh, of his teacher, and he said, well, David, clearly painting comes easily to you, maybe a bit too easily. Uh, maybe you have to struggle a bit before you'll do really good work. Now, uh, he denies having told me that. I've mentioned that to him every time I've seen him since. Uh, but I think it's a, a common view that artists need to go through some sense of personal struggle for their better work to rise to the surface. I think I'm just getting in the stride. That's why I do have this sense of urgency about getting out and doing more paintings. In fact, I have said to people before, if you've got one of my paintings from 30, 40, 50 years ago uh, and you're not happy with it, send it back to me and I'll happily repaint it for free. I didn't find it difficult at all to move into full-time painting. Uh, I didn't think I would be painting full full-time. I'm sort of painting around the clock these days and traveling the world painting. So it's been an unexpected adventure for me. Uh, but as I said before, you've got to say yes to everything. If someone says, will you exhibit here? Of course I'll exhibit there. And can you do us 20 paintings for this exhibition? Of course I will burn the midnight oil uh, in order to get that work done. Uh, I think that's the attitude you've got to have. Attitude is so important. Uh, and it's not something you can just switch on. Uh, you've got to really work at it. Uh, and I think now it's, it's just a natural thing for me to uh, say yes to everything and to try to be everywhere <laughs> uh, all at the same time. Uh, so this year I've had uh, three exhibitions. Uh, they are small scale, but the big one every year is at Red Hill. That's the one I really look forward to.